Johnny. On the menu today, chicken enchiladas. My world famous chicken enchilada. Pay attention, I think you'll enjoy. Okay? Here we go. First of all, we're going to saute about half of a small onion and a little bit of margarine until it's soft. Alright? Also, this is very important. Whenever you're cooking a Mexican dish, any Mexican dish, you have to have a lot of tequila. Which I do have. Bueno, bueno. While the onion is softening, so is the mind. What do I recommend? I recommend cheap white tequila. And I would do a shot every three or four minutes while the uh, meal is cooking. After you've softened your onion in a little stir fry, add about one tablespoon of canned green chili peppers. And to prepare the chicken, you can poach the chicken, but I prefer just to uh, to, um, to just stir fry it in a pan. A little bit of uh, light margarine or some Pam. And uh, I like to use a uh, chicken fajita seasoning on it just to give it a little extra kick. Enough chicken to where you can chop it up into a couple cups. I'd say, I don't know, count, count the chicken. I'm using white meat. White meat breast tenders. Although any chicken will do. Almost time for a tequila shot. Hang in there with me. Mexican beer is always a must too. Any kind will do. I'm partial to Dos Equis. I like Tecate, Pacifico. Yes, yes, see, 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 Little chicken fajita seasoning. Mexico has some of the best food in the world. It's great music too. Great chicks. Ah, tequila! Using lime and, uh, and salt to do their tequila shots. Big mistake. To complement our meal, we're going to have a little bit of packaged Spanish rice. Seeds a little water. Get to cook on the fly. Cooking the chicken. Green chilies. Tequila. Guacamole is always good. Okay, the chicken's almost cooked. Actually, I think it's done enough. We are going to be baking it as well. After your chicken's been cooked, boom, 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 chop it up. Chop it up. Put it all on my chopping board here. Very careful kitchen. Ah! 
good, doesn't it? I mean, you can eat it right now. That would be chicken that you want to eat. But you don't eat But I've got more in here, so I'm gonna add, yeah, this is a, an 8 ounce package. I'm not gonna add the whole thing, but I am gonna add some. Too much chicken mixture. Not that much. Also, I wanna add a few tablespoons of milk. This is 2%. You mix it together as such. Time for tequila! Oh, jeez, it's gonna be good. <laughs> now we add our sauteed onion and green chili mixture to the chicken mixture. Actually, I'm gonna add two more teaspoons of my canned green chili to the, to the chicken mixture. About that much. Now it's time to roll the enchiladas. You put eh, three, three tablespoons in each tortilla. Um, near an edge. And then you roll the tortilla. Place it in a baking dish. Now, since we've made the chicken mixture and we've rolled the tortillas, the next thing to do is to make the sauce to pour over. So what we're going to do, we're going to add one can of cream of chicken soup. Yeah.